the responsibilities of leadership, the role of the media, and the trust of the public are deeply embedded in the heart of today's political discourse. People are increasingly worried about the media's influence in holding the president's daily actions accountable and how this reflects on the efficiency of the current administration and the integrity of our leadership. When a psychologist examines the need for more transparent and participatory leadership, it taps into both the immediate concerns surrounding the president's decisions and the more profound fears for our nation's future and stability. What does the president do all day? <laughs> That's a great question. Whatever he wants, because he's the president. Okay. Um, uh, we understand it, it's lately a lot less publicly. Uh, it's a lot of calls and a lot of meetings away from close uh, away from cameras. There is going to be an event tomorrow in New Orleans about the cancer moonshot. Thursday, there's going to be something about lowering prices. They're, they're getting to the legacy stuff, the things that he wants to do to cement his legacy. It is extremely unlikely that he's going to get any big legislation through. Uh, and so we're not seeing him with uh, hosting meetings with influential Democratic lawmakers, uh, particularly because the most influential ones we are now learning are the ones who are squeezing him out behind closed doors. You know. Yeah, we're learning a lot about that. There's a growing chorus of complaints about what many see as a severe lack of transparency and accountability in the current government. Psychologists point out that the question, what do they do all day, mirrors a broader anxiety about the efficiency and visibility of our leaders. The president's cynical and dismissive response to the idea of doing whatever the fans want only deepens the conservative perspective that the current administration is out of touch with pressing global issues, more concerned with managing its image than taking meaningful action. This sentiment echoes a conservative skepticism that if Donald Trump were in the same situation, the media would react differently, highlighting a perceived bias and double standard in reporting.